In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload an audio file to your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch using a very powerful, light, and free application or software without the need to go through the iTunes hassle. So first of all, we need to um, search for a website called um, Copy Trans control center and hit enter and um, we go through the website here's the website for to download the application and here's the download button but before that I want to show you that um, in this website they do have other applications that you can use uh, for your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch, um, which you can synchronize, you can copy, uh, backup. In other words, all the functionalities are provided by iTunes. So you can simply have them in a, in a lighter and simpler application like this one. So I'm going to download the um, English version of the application. I will go and press download and then download the application and install it. So we simply save the installation file to our computer and then uh, install it. But since I already have the application installed on my computer I will skip this step and uh, go directly to explain the, uh, the software. As you can see in, uh, in this uh, software package we do have other applications available like CopyTrans, um, CopyTrans contact and whatever but all we need here in this video is the CopyTrans uh, manager, the, the first one. Here is the start screen, we'll, we'll skip this. So now I'm going to connect my iPad mini and it should show to the top left corner as you can see it's it shows iPod unknown which is wrong uh, usually when I connect my iPhone it shows iPhone but when I connect my um, iPad or iPad mini it shows iPod uh, unknown but this is not a big deal anyhow So here we will have uh, the different categories of the uploaded uh, audio files that we do have in our iPad mini. Um, and we have the, here we have the tracks themselves. We have these are the, uh, these are the audio files that they have now. Now let's go to upload some audio files to our iPad mini. And all I need to do here is to mark the audio files drag them and drop them inside the uh, copy trans manager now if I right click on one of these um, audio files and go to edit uh, the, the powerful thing of this application that you can you can edit almost all the attributes of, of uh, your audio files that like the name of the album the uh, artist name, the title, we can even add uh, an image to our audio file so when we play our audio file the, the image will be shown on our iPad or iPhone. After we're done we can just simply click save and we can see that the um, uh, the album, the all this information that we have entered uh, will be present, will be shown here. and I can edit uh, the rest of the files the same way I did uh, with the first one. So after I'm done I can simply go click on the update button. Uh, this will apply all the changes I have made to my uh, music library in, inside the uh, iPad, inside my iPad mini. So as you can see the, the status bar Now it's it's done
I can um, listen to these files from my iPad mini. Of course, we can also double click on uh, each of these files and listen to it. Uh, here before we update our uh, music library in, in the iPhone or iPad so in, in case uh, you're uploading a wrong file or uh, whatever and you want to test it before you you apply the changes so you can uh, you can you can do that here but unfortunately uh, I cannot play the audio files here due to to the copyright issues finally we can go check uh, these changes uh, in our um, iPad music library. I'll uh, click to play one of these files. Uh, this was all for this uh, video. Hope you will like it and uh, subscribe uh, to my channel. Thank you.